these views are just amazing. We have come to the highest point, to the summit of the Chiltern Hills. It's hot, but it's nice. Wow, I'm proud of myself. I'm imagining I'll sleep very well after such a long day today. Good morning, and welcome to day two of our Chiltern adventure. I have just slept in my car overnight and it was an interesting one to say the least. My mattress deflated twice, I had to fill it up at about 3 o'clock in the morning. My body is going to ache and I am very hungry, so we're going to start this day off by cooking some breakfast. And we have driven to the third destination on this Chilterns road trip. We had about a 40 minute drive from Wendover Woods and now we are here. Behind me you will be able to see there's a large hill. That is Watlington Hill because our third destination is Watlington. I parked in a car park where you can park for free. I bought some lunch in their little co-op and now we are on our way hopefully to get to the top of that hill. The hill is directly behind me and the first way marker on this walk is a large white mark. It's a white triangle on the hill and I was actually hiking in the opposite direction to the hill so I turned around, went back to my car, changed my shirt because a long sleeve shirt on such a warm day is not a good idea. And now we're approaching the hill. It's steep. It's a very steep start to the walk. And this here is the white mark. It's a large chalk triangle that spans a long length of this hill. <sighs> there is such a fantastic view. From up here, you can see for miles and miles. Not only that, because it's such a steep ascent, you can look down on all of the birds flying. We've had at least two red kites flying super low. There's one up there, in fact there's two up there at the moment. And when they get lower, you can get the sun above their wings and see their vibrant colours. So I'm going to set up on a bench just up here with my camera. I'm going to take a quick breather before we continue with the hike.
The view from the top of this hill are literally panoramic. I'm just gonna keep circling and you can see there is countryside, fields, trees, and above that, lots and lots of wildlife, including red kites and buzzards that are hovering. We have red kites just non-stop soaring above us. And with them below us and the sun in this direction, I've got some pretty cool shots. And I've been photographing these red kites for over an hour now. It's so fun because they're constantly swooping past and giving you more opportunities. I even tried to get some video, but I do not claim to be a videographer. I reckon we've got about three youngsters who have fledged a nest because there's often three with each other and they'll end up dive bombing each other and fighting in the air as we saw earlier when I was on that bench. And it's really cool to see they must have fledged a nest relatively local to here. Now there's loads of woodland so they could have been anywhere and they're now getting used to the skies to become the aerial masters that they are. So we physically cannot get to our last location. One road was closed, so we followed our diversion, which is never a good sign, but there was one more road into the place and it was cornered off by police. I kid you not, we cannot get there. So don't worry, we will go to a fourth place. I'm just currently having to work out where that's going to be. And we have found a very small car park in a place called Mill End. I have no idea what's here, but it looks like it's a small village on the side of the River Thames. And there seems to be some low-lying marshland fields. Now out on these fields, I can see crows, I can see buzzards, I can see there's going to be wildlife here. So we're gonna explore and see what we find. And there we have it. We have explored the Chiltern Hills over two days and camped a night in the car. This trip has been so fun. It's been eye-opening. It's been extremely challenging and I don't want it to end, but I also look forward to my bed at home. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been a different one. We've had the wildlife photography, which is normal, but we've also had the crazy side of, of living in a car and of cooking in parks. And I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you found this entertaining or inspirational. If you want to go out and do the same, feel free to ask any questions you have in the comments below and tell me your experiences from doing adventures like this, because I would love to hear them and I'm sure others would too.
It's been a pleasure to have you and we will see you in the next one.